Guys, if you know me, you know I love tacos and I love Asian food. We're gonna squish them together and we're gonna make a pretty awesome dish. You will not wanna miss it. Hey, stick around, y'all. That's some good groceries. All right, so for our protein, for our tacos, I'm gonna use these flanking ribs. These are short ribs, but they're cut just kind of horizontally across the bone. Horizontally, yeah, I guess. And they make, they make these cool little, little bones, and man, there's some meaty goodness on that other side, y'all. We're just gonna take our flanking ribs, short ribs, whatever you wanna call them, put them into a Ziploc bag. All right, to these ribs, we're gonna marinate these in some bachans. This is just the original bachan sauce. If you've never tried it, give these things a try. That is good. Gosh, it's so good. We have some green onions also that we're gonna use the bottoms. We'll put that in our marinade. We're gonna use the tops for a little bit of garnish because we all bougie like that. Get at this bag. I mean, get at it like this thing owes you money. Like, not, not like $5, like maybe like $200. Wanna make sure every piece of this is coated. After you got your marinade in your bag, let that go for about 15 to 30 minutes. You can go up to four hours or even overnight. It'll really develop those flavors very well. While we're waiting on our short ribs to just hang out in that Bashan sauce, we're gonna come over, we're gonna make our beautiful slaw for this. And how we're gonna make this, we're gonna use some angel hair, finely shredded cabbage. I saw this sesame ginger sauce. This is store bought. Feel free to use whatever you like, but I thought this sesame ginger from Hellman's works just great. We're gonna add some of these onions, some of the whites, and that's just gonna give that nice spring oniony taste to it. We're gonna stir this up and then we're gonna add a little bit of essentials blend. That just gives you that salt, that pepper, that goody, that goody good. Hey guys, hey, I appreciate you watching this so far. Hey, if you don't mind, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, I sure would appreciate it. So it's been about 15 minutes and now we're gonna lay these short ribs right onto a pretty hot griddle. We got our we're about on a medium high heat. Uh, it's not screaming, screaming hot. It's hot enough to make a good sizzle when we put this down. That's what you want to hear. You hear that? That's what you want. Man, if you could smell this right now, it smells amazing. Let these cook for about two to three minutes till you start getting a little bit of caramelization on this one side. Now we're going to flip these over onto the other side and let them cook as well. Boy, look how beautiful these are. Man, that looks beautiful. Now they've had time to cook on both sides, we're going to adjust our griddle here. We're gonna get our tortillas ready. Boy, that's a pile of meat right there. Golly, boy. Guys, you're probably looking at your griddle right now. You're cooking these things, you're like, hussy, there's a mess right here. That's perfectly fine. The cool thing about the griddle is, it'll take a beating, but if you got some sugary stuff, let it cook, let it kind of caramelize. It'll come off so easy. After a couple more minutes of the ribs over on that cool side, we're gonna take these ribs off and we're gonna put them onto our cutting board and we're gonna let them cool off a little bit. We do have to cut these and these things are blazing hot. So let's talk about tortillas. I love these tortilla land. These are fresh tortillas. I get these from Walmart. Super, super good and flavorful. Much better than the pre-cooked stuff that you already buy. If that's all you got, all you can find, it's fine. I've, I've used those for a long time. But these are soft tortillas. They got like two, they got like a burrito size and they also have this taco size. We're gonna put these down onto our hot griddle and we're gonna start watching some bubbles form. You can kind of see these bubbles from the underside. They're starting to poke through, that's perfect. The griddle is dry. After about a minute, we're gonna flip these. Oh, look at those leoparding, that's perfect. All right, once they get nice and puffed up like this, they're done. Put them over here to our cutting board. All right, we got our ribs ready. Now we're gonna come in and cut these and get them ready for our tacos. I like to come across where these bones are, but then y'all, you talk about one of the best treats you'll have in your life. Mm. Right in between those bones. Man, that's just a flavor bomb right there. We'll save them for later. Like a midnight snack, you know, be all right. All right, once you cut some meat kind of off off the bones there. I like to just stack them on top, stack pieces of meat on top of one another, just like this. Just in a nice bite-sized pieces for your taco. Now, for everything to have a little bit of flavor, I'll come in with a little bit more of this Bashan's. 
just toss that in. All right, it's time to build our tacos. We have been waiting patiently. I know you have. Put some of your meat down. Now, we're gonna take our little lovely slaw that we made. We're gonna come in, come in and put it right on top of our short rib meat. And for a couple of these, I like a little sriracha. I'm just gonna come in just like this. I wanna fix two with it, two without it. Just a little bit more of this Bashans. Hey, there's nothing left to do here, y'all, but to give these tacos a try. Cheers, y'all. Mmm. 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 Y'all, there's a lot going on right there. The flavors are so complex. That fusion between the taco, Asian flavors. The Bashans is nice, rich, just delicious. Got a sweetness to it. That slaw comes in, it's got a crunch. Got that sesame ginger sauce. Sriracha kind of comes through, a little bit of hotness. Dang it, boy. This is a slam dunk, and I'm sure you will love it. Guys, that's all I got for you today. I appreciate you stopping in. Head on over to the Blackstone Network where you'll find other awesome videos just like this. Also, go on over to griddlenation.com where you'll find a lot of awesome things too. Hey, I'm Matt Hussey, and that's some good groceries.